President Donald Trump has lambasted the head coaches of the Golden State Warriors and San Antonio Spurs for pandering to China and the NBA's simmering clash with the communist nation. In remarks on Wednesday, Trump said that Warriors head coach Steve Kerr responded like a little boy when asked whether the Chinese were wrong to pressure the NBA over Houston Rockets GM Daryl Morey's tweet supporting protesters in Hong Kong. He was like a little boy. He was so scared to even be even answering the question, Trump said of Kerr. He didn't know how to answer the question, and yet he'll talk about the United States very badly. Kerr, normally outspoken on political issues and a strong critic of Trump, has come under fire for sidestepping the China road, telling reporters, it's a really bizarre international story. It's something I'm reading about just like everybody is, but I'm not going to comment further than that. Trump also took aim at Spurs head coach Greg Popovich, another outspoken critic of the president, who actually praised NBA commissioner Adam Silver for his statement in support of free speech. They have to work out their own situation. The NBAs, they know what they're doing, Trump told reporters. I watched the way that Kerr and Popovich and some of the others were pandering to China and yet to our own country it's like they don't respect it. Following Trump's remarks, Warriors star Steph Curry was pressed by reporters to comment on the controversy during a break at training camp. From the league in China and uh, just our presence there and the way that we've been building our business there, it's an interesting situation because there's so much history involved and I don't know that history well enough to kind of speak on it or form an opinion, Curry responded. Curry also quipped about Trump's remarks on his coach, Kerr. I just heard about the Trump thing, I've got to welcome Steve to the club. First and foremost, that's kind of par for the course there, Curry joked. Referring to Trump's prior remarks insulting Curry for visiting, refusing to visit the White House after a championship season. Chinese fury over Moray's Hong Kong tweet has only grown, threatening the NBA's extensive business in China, which is estimated to be worth at least $4 billion. Chinese organizers on Wednesday cancelled a fan event on the eve of an NBA exhibition game in Shanghai, the latest fallout in the, following, in the growing dispute. The Shanghai Sports Federation said the cancellation of the fan event ahead of Thursday's game between the Brooklyn Nets and Los Angeles Lakers was due to the inappropriate attitude of Moray and NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. A Wednesday afternoon news conference with both teams was indefinitely delayed, organizers said. Outside the team hotel, workers tore down massive banners advertising the game according to a Reuters witness. The Hong Kong protests were sparked by opposition to a bill allowing extradition to mainland China but have evolved into broader calls for democracy. China has accused the West of stirring up anti-Beijing sentiment in Hong Kong. The NBA controversy also comes against the backdrop of a US-China trade war that escalated after Washington imposed visa restrictions on Chinese officials on Tuesday. Silver said on Tuesday the league supported Moray's right to exercise his freedom of expression, further angering authorities and some fans in China and threatening the NBA's business there, said to be worth $4 billion. Moray deleted the tweet and apologized on Monday, but Chinese broadcasters, sportswear companies and sponsors have said they are now reviewing their ties with the NBA, which has had a presence in China since 1992. The NBA initially described the anger over Moray's post as regrettable, drawing criticism from US politicians who accused the league of putting its China business ahead of free speech. Silver, speaking in Japan before a pre-season game between the Rockets and Toronto Raptors, said it was not up to the league to regulate what players, employees and team owners said. On Wednesday, an editorial in the official English language China Daily accused Silver of brazenly endorsing Moray's secessionist supporting tweet and giving a shot to the arms of the rioters of Hong Kong. If Silver thinks endorsing the indiscriminate violence the radical Hong Kong protesters are resorting to is supporting freedom of expression, then he should think again, it said. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo asked in an interview with PBS about the NBA controversy, said, American businesses were waking up to the risks of operating in China. 
The reputational cost to these companies, I think, will prove to be higher and higher as Beijing's long arm reaches out to them and destroys their capacity for them, their employees, and the NBA's case teams, managers, and general managers to speak freely about their political opinions, Pompeo said. Thank you.